adult male pigs do have a scrotal sac. So those are the testes that have not yet descended. Um, and then those two things are those kidneys. No, no, the kidneys are there. Those are the balls. Yeah, those are the testes. You <laughs> said it like that. And there's the vast <laughs> deference. There's the vast deference. It wraps around. That's the ureter. It classically loops over the ureter oh. and goes. Um, here, ureter? here's yeah. So here's the bladder, and the urethra is headed out that way, and that's right where the vast deference joins <laughs> the urethra. And I haven't cut through the pelvic canal. I'm not going to do it because it's really not worth it. Because the other thing that happens in these guys ball, is ball. that. The, the urethra passes through the pelvic canal, but then you can see, well, th where's the penis? You've got an anal opening and there's nothing here because the urethra goes um, into the uh, abdominal wall and in a male pig, there's the umbilical cord and, and much as you might have noticed, in a ho you know, like dogs, cats, horses, mm -hmm. okay. there's the urethral opening right almost, you know, in, in, the, mm -hmm. in the middle of the abdomen. Mm -hmm. and they don't have what we call a suspended penis like you have in humans. The penis is inside a sheath here um, along with the urethra, where the urethra is located and when, it, when, they, um, when they get sexually excited, then that, Pink thing comes that out. yeah, the red rocket yeah. like they call it in dogs or whatever, um, emerges from that sheath and that's when you can see the penis. So, you know, it's a very different look than what you have in male, in male humans. All right. Um, I might mention when those, when the testes do descend, mm -hmm. right? Um, then you do have that scrotal sac, the, and pigs would get that also shortly after birth. But a castration, right, is also a male sterilization, but where the testes are actually removed, and that's what's generally done for pets, cats and dogs, and also for farm animals, cows, pigs, um, sheep. A castration brings about significant changes to the physiology of the animal because the testes are the main source of testosterone. And so in the case of a cow, it leads to a totally different developmental trajectory where you don't get an aggressive big bull. You get a steer that puts on more weight, more fat content in the meat and all of that. Yeah. So, um, and, and it even probably changes the behavior of, you know, pets, makes the male dog.